Wow, it's the future, 2020. Think about those movies way back when I was a kid when they talk about years in the future and things that would be around in the year 2020. I don't think we've gotten any of those things. But here we are, just experiencing the years as they happen. And what a way to kick off the new year by doing more geoguessing. This time it was a suggestion for a map from Linksy, I believe, is the GeoGuessr username for unique buildings. So I have no idea what I'm in for other than that they said they're just really cool looking buildings. So here we go. I almost feel like I've done this one before now that I think about it, but whatever. I will appreciate any map suggestions anybody does, and I will very much uh, look at them and do them. So here we are. Challenge start. New Year's starting off with a building that looks like um, a little bit of image issue. If I was to look at what type of building this is for, it almost looks like a uh, a, a paddle, and then they forgot to build stairs. Because being up this high would probably give you a little bit of vertigo. If you had to move shit going up those stairs, that would suck. Um, maybe it's for like earthquakes and shit if it shakes around. Marta D. Well, this is maybe Italian. If I had to guess. Weird ass building. Uh, no, I thought that was almost a flag. Let's go try to find out. What the fuck this is. As we do that, again, hi, how you doing? Thanks for uh, checking out this uh, GeoGuessr thing. ADHR. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it's even got, like, graded floors so you can see underneath it if you stare down and get vertical. Associa Zone Art. This is in Argentina. Don't think that. That's dumb. Don't think dumb things. <laughs> this is probably Italy. Um, come on. Let's let's try to find out where the fuck we is. Hmm. Coffee. Bresciana. I feel it's Bresciana is where we are. I just don't know where the f like what country that's in. I mean, it could be Italy, but I want a little bit more um help info before I'm willing to commit on a country. I have very little time left, and I am freaking out, hoping that I would have found something by now. Hmm. Nothing there helps. Let's try to get a little closer. Of course, you're too far away. Hmm. Nothing helps. IBS could be Iberian banks. I want to get to this bus, but the bus isn't going to be there when I go across. Yep. Oh, man. This, this is the problem with my inability to fully commit on a... Uh, Understanding a language. What if I go over here? Oh, well, these are still the same. IT. Yep, okay. So I gotta find Bresciana, which may be very hard. Let us try to pick from this far out. I want to just, like, click down, because, again, I've been known for forgetting to click a place. I think this is small enough that I'm probably not going to actually see it on my um, frantic last couple second clicking until I see it at like a street sign or number, and I'm not seeing it. That bus is, again, not going to be there. Why do I keep thinking that'll work? Um, Metro. This seems to be a big enough city that's going to have... I'm just going to click... Bologno, San Marino, yeah, that is its own country, I believe. That doesn't matter because 
Let's find out if I'm right. Mm, Brescia. Oh, shit. It is an actual place. What's the name of the building? Does it pop up? Um, no, it doesn't have, like, a name, I'm guessing. Whatever, maybe one of these things, but still pretty cool building. I will give that a, uh, feeling like a good six. I mean, it was interesting, but I'm not about to, like, plan a trip to go see it. Speaking of which, this is just some interesting Christchurch. Well, I know where we is. I don't know if this thing is like a uh, thing that's worth seeing or having it stick out to merit a uh, cathedral, but I'm going to say it's probably right here. If I turn around, I see a corner of a park, which this very much is. So this seems to be a Christchurch transitional cathedral. Okay. I'm going to just verify this by seeing if Latimer Square, yep, right there. Okay. Since we got this within a minute, take a little bit more time to verify that I am recording. And the volume is working. That would be an issue and a concern. New Year. How's that year coming for you? Did you do one of those things of a uh, resolution? I know last year I was uh, not giving myself a resolution, but I was just more of like obtainable goals that are things I don't normally do. Like I said, last year I would read a book a month, hike a mountain a month, and try to listen to an album a week. Again, not like life altering things that would just change my life, hence life altering, but things I had not really done that I would like to do a bit more of. I would like to read more, so I did that. I would like to hike more, so I kind of made an incentive. I mean, it essentially is a uh, um, resolution, but it's not like a go see every mountain, do the 46 or 47, it might be 48 peaks of the Adirondacks, something like that. That would be a little crazy, but you get the idea. Um, I don't know if I've got that for this year. I am going to be trying to make mead. Actually, hard cider first because that's a little easier than mead. A little less time involved for it. I have zero experience and or knowledge with making any of that stuff. I picked up a few books, got a few pieces of equipment. And uh, going to give it a shot. Anything else? Um, I did talk about the last one, about getting a drone. But that's after a phone. Uh, maybe actually start playing the games a bit more than what I, like, the ones I own in my Steam library. Watched all of The Witcher on uh, Netflix. Pretty good. Um, I have not seen, I mean, not read any of the books. I think there was a movie that came out a couple of years ago. I had not seen that. I had not finished Witcher 2 or 3. I haven't touched one. I hear that's really difficult to get back into now. I mean, it's a little dated. Um, I did pick up... I uh, had to Google to see what order to read, or what's the order of the Witcher books, because it's just not like a Witcher 1 book. Um, and uh, some website told me that there was this book that came out after this series had already started that kind of gave you backstory and information, and I guess it's kind of a good primer, if you think about it, to actually get into the uh, series. And maybe I'll do that this year. Uh, I have no idea how many books there are. I'm sure there's a lot. Um, and give me 5,000 points. Thank you. Nailed that mofo. I would give that building a three. Uh, really did not do much for me. Uh, these are some interesting buildings. What does that say? Hotel Okuna. Hmm. What do we got? Cafe, restaurant, takeout. So, Tabu Kobe. Hmm. Is this like an airport? I'm thinking it is. 
Now, Kobe, is this actually like? Is there? I think there's a Kobe in Japan. Is there? Problem is, this is a very densely populated country. I'm trying to find Kobe. Isn't it right outside? Um, all right. I played a shit ton of Nobunaga's Ambition on the Super Nintendo. On yeah, on the Super Nintendo. Kobe wasn't that around here? Hmm. Or is it outside of Nagoya? I feel like I've seen it, and it's not popping up right now. That's probably my most favorite. Super Nintendo game. Not saying it's the best one, but also it's it's one of those things where everyone's kind of got like their one super favorite. Um, Route Two. Super favorite game that no one else really gives a shit about. Mine just happens to be Nobunaga's Ambition for the uh, Super Nintendo. I very much enjoyed my time with that. The fuck is Route Two? Am I like? Again, focusing on the wrong section of the country. I know that the roads, again, always don't follow a certain type of numbering logic. Like, the two can be used in many different parts of the country. I see a three. I'm not seeing a two anywhere. Hmm. I know it's this country, it's just I'm not going to find there's a two. Okay. I'm looking to see if I see a Kobe. The problem is this could be the completely wrong road to be looking at, and I would be too dumb to know it. I feel like I'm so close though. I mean, this is another country I'd like to go to. Oh, Kobe. Here we go. Found it. Now i got to find an airport. <laughs> this will be hard. Kobe Airport? Is this actually where I am? Hmm. All right. Let's... What is this thing called? Kobe Port Tower. All right. So where is Kobe Port? Is this Kobe Port Tower? There's a driving school on this very tiny man-made island. Kobe Port Tower. Hmm. I'm just really looking. Hmm. Kobe Airport. A shuttle. No, I think, yeah, it was over here. I think I might up oh, control W. I don't care. Yeah, Kobe Port Tower. It shows up. Okay. Hmm. Got the country right at least, and the city eventually. I would give that a a five. Again, I'm not gonna go out of my way to go see it. This looks cool. Let's see. Vermitong. <laughs> what is this place? Under Frankenkirsch. Kunsta Kamide. Cunt comedy, huh? That sounds very vulgar. What is this building? You got a souvenir shop. What do we got on here? These all look like children. But it's just uh, not a very good... Um, picture of it, so Barlu. Interesting. This almost looks like French cartoon with umlauts. <laughs> Where is this? This is German. I just Kaffee Zur Frau Kirsch. Frau Kirsch? See what this sign says 
That doesn't help me. None of that helps me. I would really like to get like right there, but I can't. All right, fine. Sometimes Hiltons will say the city that they're the Hilton of. Not getting that here, at least not yet. Ontario Steakhouse. I cannot go that way, apparently. Nope. Maybe? Nope. All right, fine. Hmm, Hilton, see? I think this is Hilton Dresden. And it does. All right. Thank you, Hilton, for being predictable. Find me Dresden. Isn't that over here? Wow, you're not fo Thank you for finally focusing. Dresden. Show yourself. Dresden. All right. So I was completely on the wrong side of the, co the, the country. Hmm. Now I have to find out. I'm going to click here just so I actually have a spot. The Hilton Dresden. Look for that. Is that near Pantomimer? Pan Panometer? Panometer? Hmm. Billard Treff Punked Pool. Alright, so hotels are going to be purple. Purple pink. So look for purple pink. Dressed in stuff. I do not see it yet. Let's see, Hotel One. That's Hotel Motel One. That doesn't help me. My phone is blowing up. Oh, all right, whatever. Let us. Mama Africa. No, uh, Payless Plot. No, that's the Westin. No, we're looking for the Hilton, not the Westin. You gotta get real close to that uh, hotel in the water. I would not live, sleep at that place because I would drown. A lot of hotels around here. I almost thought like that could have been where we are, but I'm also got to zoom in real close to find this one. Hmm. B and B Hotel Dresden. Where the fuck's the Hilton? I found every other goddamn. Hotel chain. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Uh, we were right in front of the what? Frau and Kirsch Dresden. And there's the Hotel Dresden. Okay. Three points off. That's fine. That's not a building. That's a dinosaur. Whoever made this needs to figure out the difference between the two. Well, we've got interesting root signs that almost made me think it's Ohio, but it clearly is not. This will tell me where we are. Oh, we're in... Hmm. Hmm. Is this... Canada? I do see a Canadian flag. Dinosaurs... They found a lot of dinosaurs in in the U.S. When they were looking for dinosaurs, they found them in this section of the U.S. It seemed very prevalent here, so it makes me feel like we're in one of these northern Canadian, well, southern Canadian um, cities. So I'm going to look at this sign, Red Deer River, to potentially find out where we are. Tourist information that doesn't help me. This is not the international border. Very arid and dry here, which makes me do think it's um, the uh, center of the uh, country. I'm just having some difficulty actually pinning us down. Hopefully that sign will help me. Okay, Badlands community. So, yeah, we're in this section because the Badlands are, like, around here. It could be, like, an Estevan. Maybe even Portal. Which seems to be a very fitting name. We do have 
uh, towards the information here. I want to see what the sign says. E play sleep. That doesn't help me. Let's see what this sign says. Tyrell Museum. Look for nine. There's nine. And 56. Although that's not heading east. Hmm. Are we like right around here? Hmm. I got a minute left. Okay, maybe it's not like exactly on the border. Let's uh, dial it back a smidge. I'm having a very hard time locating this, and it's driving me a little upset. There's like so much information here, but none of it is helpful. Vietnamese noodle house. Let's hit home. I want to go look at this. I've kind of like ignored all of this. Again, this said Royal Tyrell Museum, Highway 9 East. Like, I don't even see 9 anywhere here. Man, I've really botched this one. Yeah, this one's just, just bad. There's nine. Man, this was just me getting completely fucked over. Overthinking it too much. When I didn't even look at the goddamn dinosaur. We were in Drumheller. The world's largest dinosaur. Fair enough. Badlands threw me off, and as you can see, Badland, it's, uh, I guess, a little bit bigger of an area than I was willing to give it credit for, but there we have it, the uh, Strange Building one, which I actually kind of liked. That was cool. Um, anyway, there we are. I kicked the bag full of chips. How unprofessional of me. Just a great way to kick off the new year. 2020 is on us, and you're here watching it with me. All of it, geo-guessing. Um, thank you all for your continued support and watching and giving me all your comments, questions, concerns, complaints, likes, favorites, comments, subscribes, all of that stuff you put down below the videos. Very much appreciated. If you do have any other maps, uh, themes, or any other countries, could be anything at all geo related or video games related go ahead and put them in the comments below i will look at them review them and probably end up doing them the year is upon us come back here for your base to be touched for friday that sounded terrible i'm sorry come back again on friday we'll do some more geo guessing and get through this year together goodbye